Hey guys, this is Tam here. Uh, welcome to this video. On this video, we're going to be talking about how to organize your Gmail account. And uh, I know a lot of you guys, uh, if you have a Gmail account, you may have a ton of emails coming in and you don't know how to organize them. I'll show you a couple of simple tricks that you can organize these emails uh, that will just keep it nice and clean and, and, and in the future you don't have to like worry about much of all these emails coming in. Okay, I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So first of all, if you're getting a ton of emails and you know uh, there are some important emails in here that you want to sort of uh, keep an eye on, there are some that you don't want to worry about. That's fine. Uh, so um, what? Uh, so for example, for me, okay, Team Wuka is quite important. It's, uh, it's emails that I want to receive a lot and I want to keep an eye out for. So what I want to do now is create a label for them and organize them into like these tabs on the side here. When you first have your email uh, Gmail account, you won't have these tabs here. I've created these personally for me. So what you want to do, if you have a ton of emails uh, in your inbox right now, the first thing you want to organize is the most important stuff. You, what you want to do is go to the search bar and you want to type in from colon and then uh, you want to type in team Wuka or whatever it is that's important to you. When that comes up, then what you can do is highlight that, okay? And then you can go to the top here where it says uh, labels, hit that, scroll down to create new, and then you write down the name, uh, whatever the, that name is, Team Walker. And then uh, I just want to hit create. And then now all of these emails are now uh, placed under the Team Walker tab. Okay, the next thing to do now is to go to the side here and hit this little arrow so that I can come in here and I can select a color code. I can assign a color code for that uh, account. So I'm going to click this dark um, yellowish button, gold maybe. So there we go. Uh, now Team Walker, if, if, if any time I want to look at Team Walker's emails, uh, all the history of it, I just go here and they're all there. All right? That's one way to create uh, labels. Another way to create labels is if you go down to the more button here and scroll right down, you can create new label right there. So if this comes up, you can create a new label, you can type in whatever you want there. Or right back there again, you can go to manage labels. Excuse me. And it takes you to the settings. Um, and then under the labels here, you can do all sorts of settings. You can create a new label there. Um, you know, you can you can edit it. Uh, you can put it under a parent. And changing colors obviously always over here. Uh, just select one of these and, and change your color. Uh, okay, guys. So let me go back to the homepage again, and we'll do just one more uh, label. So, for example, I don't know how many emails I've gotten from uh, Paul Hatching. So, I'm going to go like this. I want to keep Paul's emails organized. So, I want to go Paul Hatching. Oh, Paul Hatching. There we go. All right. Now, he's only got 28 emails. Uh, that's a bad example. Uh, I want to show you this. I uh, want an email from somebody who I've got a ton of emails from. Uh, so let's say, for example, from Anchor. Okay, so as you can see here, I've got a hundred uh, of many show up. Okay, that's good. So there will only be a hundred emails on this page here, and I want to create a label for Anchor Agul. So I want to go here, create an anchor, uh, create a new label, create new. I want to put Anchor Agul, and um, before that, whoops. Okay, before that. Now, if I just did that, only a hundred of those emails would be placed under the label of Anchor Agawal. Before that, <clears throat> I want to hit this button here. You see that? This yellow strip that runs across here says 
uh, select all conversations that match this search I hit that now all of the emails that you know uh, is from anchor agarwolf is selected okay so beyond this 100 emails they're selected so now I go to here I click uh, create new and then I type in anchor agarwolf and create and yes, I want to confirm this bulk action. Boom. And now Gmail is just labeled all those emails. It could be 100, it could be 200, 300, it could be 1,000 emails. And Gmail is just, boom, labeled them all under anchor for me. I just got to go up here now and select a color, add a custom color. I'll give it a dark color and done, right? Now it's organized. The next thing you want to do though, once you get all those email organized, is if you don't know this already, it's called archiving your emails. Okay? What that really means is it, it takes the inbox label off of your email and uh, um, and it places them uh, you know just in your Gmail account. It's still there, it's not deleted. You can recall it anytime you want. So what you want to do is just uh, select all your email, and if you have more than you know what I've got 55 there should be uh, again there should be that yellow strip that runs across here and it says you can select you know uh, you know this many thousands of emails so just hit that and then you can archive it just hit the archive button and it all disappears okay now your inbox is empty but your emails are still there okay if you scroll down here to uh, uh, more all emails, all your emails are still there. See, I've got uh, all up is thirty nine thousand emails plus. Uh, another way to find your archived emails is if you have a conversation with someone that you remember in the past. So it could be about uh, it could be about uh, a new launch. Okay, so you type it in new launch, and all the conversations you've had about a new launch with somebody will come up. All right, so guys, uh, but I've created uh, another video and I go through archiving a little bit more intently. Uh, it should be on my YouTube channel somewhere if you're here. Uh, if not, if you're on my blog, then scroll down below. The video should be underneath this video somewhere. So go ahead and watch those guys. And, uh, you know, I hope you like this video. Just make sure you uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment, like. Uh, my video all of that I appreciate thank you very much guys and I'll see you on the next video bye now